Hello, this is uh, me loading a an Ensign Ranger 2 120 film camera for the 1950s or 60s I think. Um, I'm going to load it with some eight, uh, Ilford HP5 Plus 400 ISO roll film, 120 film. This came from um, Calame Photographic, which is apparently, apparently very good. There we go. There's the packet. Anyway, this is the camera. Lovely leather case. It smells lovely. It smells really rustic and beautiful. Anyway, this is the camera. As you can see, big rewind and take up spool knobs here. Very, very well made. I'd say this was from the 1950s actually. There's your uh, viewfinder there flips up. Anyway, this is not a tour of the camera, this is a tour of the film being loaded. Um, let me just quickly show the front touch, I can't resist. Let me show you the, there's a tab there. Press the button on the top here, pull the tab, and out comes the lens. You push the back of these stays here, and lock into place, and that's the camera open really nice anyway for the purpose of loading this film I'm going to shut the shut the front cover up push the tab down so this is the back I'm going to do I open it by pushing the slider here up the back opens a little ruby, there's a little ruby window here which you want to you see that that's open you want to shut that otherwise the light can get in that is where you view your shot counter um, the shot number, the, the frame number is, or the, or the photo number, or whatever you want to call it, is printed on backing paper on the back of the film. So you want to align it, every time you take a photo, you want to wind it so that number is centred in that little ruby window. And then once you've centred it, shut it again. So there's the camera. This is the first time I've done this. So bear with me. Here's the film. So unwrap that. Hoping to do it right. If not, it's only four pounds. I'll get another one. Don't want to have to. Do, don't want to have to get another one. There seems a bit pointless. So there, have our, there we have our film. Get the camera out of the shot. Our film, the Ilford HP5 Plus. It says unexposed on it. You see. So what I have to do now is get the camera. And I have to. Lift up this knob here on the right hand side of the camera, look at the back. Put this roll inside there. Um, yeah, if I can figure out how to do it. He says, okay. It's quite stiff. Ah, lift up further than that, that's right. Put the bottom in. Or is it the top? Is it the top first? I don't know. First time I've done it, like I said. There we go. That's in. Rotate that until it got locked. What's going on here? Oh, that's it. That's in place. Right, so now the little tab here, the white tab, I need to pull that. Now that has basically unstuck the end of the roll. So, tear the label off, which is holding it down. Okay. On the left hand side, there's a, another reel which you want to uh, wind by hand with a knob, clockwise only. There'll be a fat, there's a, sorry, a wide slot here, and there's a narrow slot. I think you want to put it in the wide slot. So, pull the film across the focal plane. Oh no, I was wrong. Put it in the narrow slot, which is there. So, feed that into there. 
like that and give it a little <coughs> give it a turn or two pull this remaining bit of paper off <coughs> excuse me turn that until it tensions up right now we're getting ready to go now then shut the back and open the ruby window shutter so I want to keep winding this hopefully you can see this if not I'm going to put some more light on it so you can see it there we go keep winding this until number one appears and you'll see some dots and some symbols going past as you wind which is pre-warning you that the first shot's about to come up okay that's a line that was so easy that was easier than loading 35 mil film I think okay what's next There's a lot of leader on this on this type of film, the 120 film. Apparently, there's a lot of leader, paper leader. So to keep winding. Oh, what's coming up now? An arrow. A dot. Another dot. A bigger dot. An even bigger dot. Number one. So there we go, you can see that number one in the window. That means we're ready for shot number one. So now shut the Ruby window, open the front when you need to, and you're ready to shoot. Thanks very much, bye bye.